Hey everybody, it's Drawfee producer Olive here, letting you all know that there are tickets available for the Drawfee live show in Brooklyn at the Bell House on Monday, September 16th. The tickets are available, they're in the description. You can buy them. Why wouldn't you do that? The show's at 7.30. We'll see you there or else I'm gonna come get you. I'll do it. Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Karina. Hey, you know how I like to start my day? How do you like to start your day? Waking up. Yeah. Well, no, I don't like to start my day with waking up. It just oh, happens. That, j- <laughs> that happens regardless. That part's yeah. mandatory. Yeah, it doesn't take my that. feelings into consideration. Exactly. Yeah. Once I'm up, and once I've used the bathroom, and once I've washed my face, and once I've brushed my teeth, and once I've uh, gotten changed into my day clothes, uh-huh. and once I've pet my kitties, uh-huh. and once I've opened uh, the doors to the rooms that my cats aren't allowed into unsupervised, uh-huh. and once I've opened some of the windows, <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. and if I don't have toast that day, I yeah. have cereal. Wow. Oh, toast. <laughs> <laughs> you heard toast. As well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you you got to enunciate on that one. You got to yeah. hit the T really hard. I hate when I wake up, do all of my morning routine, and realize Mito is gone. <laughs> Mito's. Mito's. Well, once okay, this is what happens. Yeah, sometimes yeah. in the morning, you know, I see. I see that the jam's not working on the toes, so I I get. The cereal. It's not, it's not working. <laughs> what do you uh, mean it's not working? It's not working. That didn't clarify the situation, but we should probably not linger on That's, it. Okay, we'll talk more about the jam not working once we got <laughs> what we're doing for this episode, which is and cereal related. Yes. I hope. Those yeah. cereals. Guess what? 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 They're for kids. Julia, just say what the episode is about. Why are you belaboring this so much? <laughs> Is this for kids? <laughs> they got mascots. Mascots. Yeah. But we're not kids, so we're gonna redesign. <laughs> we them. are in our thirties. Yeah. We're gonna redesign those cereal mascots. Let's do it. Let's freaking Nathan's do it. Starting first. I'm gonna Nathan. Re- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, <really. laughs> Which one you doing? <laughs> I thought. Um, I thought that horrible vampire from Count Chocula. <laughs> the horrible vampire. Is he horrible? He's not the best. What is he? Why? Why is he horrible? Have What's wrong se- with him? Have you seen him? I guess that's that's rude of me to say. Yeah, really. But- <laughs> have you seen him? Have you, like seen, have you seen, man? seen this man? I gotta take a look at him again to like remember. I mean, he's kind of, he's, he's weird just, looking. I His mean, hair is yeah. interesting. He's a... You, cereal you mascot, what? they I, all look like that. I just, I got too too in character as like someone who does makeover because mm-hmm. I'm making over this guy. And oh, I, yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, yeah, he actually is pretty horrible. I, I was a little, <laughs> I was a little harsh. And He has I, V hair. He has V hair. He has V hair. He has V hair. V-hair. V-hair. He has a long head. Yeah. His nose is like weird his nose i think is gonna get changed for sure i hope in so the, in the it's, redesign it's got real like used condom vibes to it. <laughs> and it's like current state i and wasn't gonna not, say it that's not appropriate for children you no. know no. no let so we're gonna you know in in proper redesign makeover fashion we're gonna take elements that we like and we're gonna uh-huh. remove elements that we dislike yeah, I mean, so, I I can appreciate that he has like very striking facial features. Yeah, you know, he's he's iconic. He's well known, but he's yeah. not cool. But he's not no, cool. No. And so I think yeah, we can definitely improve on his coolness factor. He's mm-hmm. also a vampire. So Julia, I don't know if you have any thoughts. Well, yeah. Um <laughs> so Yeah. I originally <laughs> Originally. I was going to be doing count Count Chocula here. You were going to be doing it. Uh, we, yeah. <laughs> right here. Right you know, here. In front of everyone. Everyone was saying who they were going to redesign, and not to put anyone on blast, but I said, <laughs> I'm going to be redrawn Count it's Chocula me. or it's me on Captain blast. Crunch. Yeah. And I said this in our chat, and yeah. then Nathan went, 
I'm not reading that. And came in and went, I think I'm going to do Count Chocula. Well, so, I, you know. And we said, Nathan, that's an incredible idea. You should wow, do that, Nathan. Wow, how unique. <laughs> I'm so glad no one <laughs> got dibs. I'm glad someone remembered Count Chocula. Can we just take a moment to appreciate <laughs> Nathan's choices of mascot? Ooh, take a moment. <laughs> well, I do want to say an interesting fact that I discovered as I spent the entire drive to Karina's reading about Count Chocula and <laughs> the line. In yeah. preparation for Nathan to try. Yeah, that was really thoughtful of you to do that for me, Julia. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what is that fact, Julia? Yeah, l- let me know. For Nathan. For me. Well, so, okay, there were two, like, monster cereals that launched at the same time, which uh-huh. um, is Count Chocula yeah. and also Frankenberry. Right. Uh, a fun fact about Frankenberry mm-hmm. is that when it launched in 1973, <laughs> there, was an, there was a food coloring that was used in the cereal <laughs> that was undigestible f- by children. That's so it awesome. made your poops pink. <laughs> wow. So it started a whole phenomena called Franken poops <laughs> in the 70s. Everybody I should have drawn Franken poops. <laughs> I should have drawn Franken poops. Damn. It's too late. Oh. Yeah. Well, we already made We're... Julia sit out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I like how your fact about Count Chocula was a fact <laughs> it's about, about <laughs> Frankenberry. Well, Franken it's because poops. like I went on a little tangent. Yes. So yeah, Count yeah. Chocula and Frankenberry launched at the same time, and then there was like a uh, in the commercials they always fought about which cereal was better. Rivals to lovers. Yeah. So my original <laughs> drawing idea was that it was going to be Count Chocula, who's amassed like an army of hotties. An army to fight of against, you You're know, gonna, Frankenberry. You were, so you were going to draw a room full of vampires. You were going to draw an army of hotties? Yeah. Focused on so, Count Chocula in the middle. So what you're saying is I've denied our audience <laughs> when you getting say, to see you draw an army When of you hotties. say an army, yeah. how many is that? A seven nation army? It depends. How many are in the BTS army? Oh, an uncountable number. Yeah. Millions. Oh. oh, no. Some say we're all in it. Yeah. <laughs> whether we like it or not. Okay. Yeah. We've been drafted to the BTS <laughs> army. Someone you know has been drafted into the BTS army. <laughs> <laughs> and it's us. And it's us. <laughs> Whoa. I'm, I, so I have the, the wiki open for mm-hmm. the, the monster serials here. I'll tell you about to see. I got the numbers for BTS. <laughs> I got the numbers for the BTS army. No, I'll Google that in a moment. <laughs> um. So one of the ones that I didn't know about was Frankenbrut. Frankenbrut. I'm sorry. Sorry, fruit brute. Fruit brute. Fruit brute. Fruit brute. Oh my god. Yeah, the fruit brute. See, that's what I because you shared the fruit brute, and I just oh, assumed the one with the cute wolf. He was so yeah. Julia coded. He looked like that's not Julia coded. No, it looks, I don't draw wolves. You, you draw. Me? It looked. It looks like. Get out of no, here. No, no, David, pull up any <laughs> drawing Julia's ever made of Scooby Doo and put it next to fruit brute. <laughs> Damn. Just put them on screen together Damn, for a sec. Got your we'll ass. let the audience decide uh, how Julia coded it is. Yeah. So the fruit brute mm-hmm. was introduced in the early '80s and then was discontinued and replaced by the fruity yummy mummy. <laughs> <laughs> the yummy mummy is a little fruity. Yeah. Ooh. What's the opposite of twink death? <laughs> <laughs> but then. The fruity yummy mummy was discontinued <gasps> only after five years. He got canceled. He got Rip. canceled. And Damn. Who took his throne? No one. <gasps> if there's a vacancy in the throne? <laughs> Although the fruit brood apparently appeared in Pulp Fiction and, and Reservoir Dogs. So. But like the character? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No. This is our chance to make the next one. It can just be like the gay ass ghoul or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be around for five years. <laughs> we'll have the yummy mommy. Oh my god! Because <laughs> you, you, the the fruit brute that you sent uh-huh. is is a, a funny little doggy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a cute fruit fruit brute. Cute, yeah, cute fruit brute. <laughs> so I guess recently they had like relaunched all of them, and yeah. look at this new art. 
Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I know. What is? Yeah, he's an emo tween now. What is his mouth doing? I hate that. He's doing you the know. Scooby Doo. <laughs> he's he is doing Julia's Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah. Mouth. I'm, I'm li- listen. <laughs> Nathan, I got to say. You've yassified the vamp. <laughs> it was when you put in the bottom lip that it really came together for yeah. me. Thank you. Because I was like, that is so kissable. Except for the teeth, which, you know, it it, per- we- it gives you like a forbidden. Yeah. Fruit. I like the teeth. You like the teeth. Well, I'm saying that's part of the intrigue because you want to kiss it, but the teeth are there to be like, but watch I want to see where they go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's What's your angle here? Sort of three quarters. Oh. (laughs) Going to throw you out of a window. Um, No, my angle is, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but there's sort of been... I guess in in sort of my my neck of the the internet, there's there's been a lot of hype around uh, attractive vampires that never happen. Recently. The last one was Edward Cullen. Sorry, mm-hmm. it yeah. ended there. That was the last one. Um, it there haven't been there. there haven't been any sort of hot pathetic vampires <laughs> in uh, no. in media. Not a single one recently. It's really sad. But if there were, <laughs> so yeah, so since there's since there's such a vacancy, I thought you know maybe that could be a direction they could go with uh, with Count Chocula, because also like again, mascots are for um, they're for children, they're for they're for tiny baby children. <laughs> um, but like another popular thing when it comes to like chocolate marketing to adults. There's like an air of like, ooh, you can be bad and have some <laughs> chocolate, you know? <laughs> like, have you ever seen like a like a chocolate commercial where yeah. it's like it's, where it's sensual? Like, it's yeah, sensual. It's, it's, it's like indulge yourself and have some yeah. chocolate. You're be, so naughty. Be bad, be naughty. <laughs> Don't yeah. you shouldn't be eating chocolate, but, but you you're naughty going to boy. because you're so naughty. <laughs> Picked it up in the aisle waiting uh, waiting in line at the grocery store. You saw it there it's next you to the chewing resist. gum, but you went for chocolate. We've we've done serial mascot episodes before and we've lost them all so if you're seeing this a true miracle yeah yeah we've broken the curse we've broken the curse the serial curse the serial curse curse. because yeah we lost one a long time ago that was like the the serial mascot bottom halves yeah because you only ever see their top half in a lot of occasions Uh yeah and that episode, I remember it was me, Julia, and Nathan, I think, that did it. Yeah, it wasn't just- I remember just... it being like really funny, and we were all really happy with it. Yeah. And then something, we forgot to record, we, we... or- I don't think we forgot to record. I think we forgot to save the recording. That's right. And by oh. we, it was it was for sure me that, that messed oh. that up. Yeah, because I think Jake and I were still on other, we like weren't full-time on <laughs> Drawfee yet. <laughs> oh, ancient, ancient yeah. history. Yeah. And then we did a mascot one with that, Adam Conover, right? That yeah. was not serial mascots, but yeah, that one More wasn't generalized. wasn't serial. It wasn't just serial mascots for the. Yeah. But they were there. Some of them were serial, I think. It was Little Debbie, Chef Boyardee, and Brawny were the three I remember. Wait. No, there was a different one. Oh, Karina was in it. Right. No, I'm. I was talking about the first one you said. Yes, that was the first one, and then the second one Karina was in. Yeah. I think you did Ronald McDonald. I was. Yes, I was about to say. Was there a second Adam Conover episode that got <laughs> lost? I Adam Conover episodes are also cursed. <laughs> he ruins everything. <laughs> they tried to warn us. We He's didn't on... listen. <laughs> it's just his brand. Yeah, it's his brand. My brand. It infects everything around him like a virus. Yeah. Guys, I have two interesting monster serial monster facts. Yes. For you. Yes. In 2023. Last year. Yes. Yeah. They introduced a new monster called Carmella Creeper. Carmella the first Creeper. First female oh. serial mascot. Finally. Let's give it up for the ladies. Yay, Let's give it women up. Can do anything. Ladies night. Lady Wait. win. Serial mascot. Period. First female ever. I mean, I can't think of another one. I'm trying to. They're all like little guys. They are little guys. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, Karina. Um. Oh, unless you count a uh, Barry Pebbles, which is uh. That's a Flintstone. That's a, that's a Flintstone. Is that the baby? Fruity Pebbles. 
Not Berry Pebbles. It's called Berry Pebbles, and it's women who rock. Don't question me on the women. Yeah, Jacob. Jacob. Oh, I thought you were talking about the um, Pebbles, the Fruity Pebbles cereal, which is features Pebbles, the baby. Well, this one. Flintstones. Baby. Flintstones. This, <laughs> Karina's like about to pass out. <laughs> her eyes were rolling back in her How head. How many Pebbles cereals are? <laughs> the children long to eat rocks. <laughs> they do. They do. <laughs> and, and have women cereal mascots. <laughs> But yes, she is apparently the first female serial mascot. That's actually crazy. Yeah. And her name is Carmella Creeper. Yeah. Is she named after like Minecraft Creepers? <laughs> no, apparently she is a, a zombie DJ cousin of Frankenberry. Zombie DJ? I, I did see like the the picture of it when I was Googling earlier and- you know what? Yeah, she does look like a zombie DJ and a cousin. Oh, she's very like millennial coded. Yeah. yeah. This... She looks like they put together everything boomers don't like about millennials yeah. into one. Yeah, Cause, for Because sure. boomers take everything they don't like about millennials and they're like, millennials will love this. And they yeah. put all those characteristics together. That's awesome. <laughs> This, however. They also think millennials are still children buying cereal. <laughs> they, they do, yeah. Okay, wait. I'm I'm learning now. This just in. Breaking news. This just in. There was a character that represented Kellogg's sugar frosted flakes for a short time in the early 1950s. That was a kangaroo carrying a baby in a pouch. So that so has to be potentially female. a female. Oh my god, mother. Caddy the kangaroo. <laughs> and she's caddy. Mother. Caddy. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is hmm. Sorry, I went on like a mental tangent all by myself because you were just like millennials buying cartoon baby cereal and I was like I don't except for that box of Reese's Puffs that we bought yeah the Goku, Goku Reese's them. Puffs yeah because uh, Goku we fell for it. that instantly yeah, yeah. it's but like was... why are we wasting our time with any mascots that aren't <laughs> Goku <laughs> we uh no I, I had like a a better episode idea. <laughs> oh, wait, what, what yeah, is what it? is it? Because we'll do it Mascots later. for cereals that don't have mascots. Like oh. the absolute goat, Grape Knight. Excuse you. Oh, I was going to say this earlier and then I interrupted myself. <laughs> Karina, I Googled Grape Nuts as a joke before we got they here. They probably do have a mascot. They had a they? mascot. It was a boxing glove with a face on it. It, it sucks. Hold really the bad. fuck up. Why? Because that's. Know. <laughs> they're just like this is what our cereal feels like in your mouth a little, little <laughs> I'm not leathery even joking. punches look at this that's the mascot I'm a little endeared but that's kind of stupid I could do better <laughs> but Karina we will do that idea yes. I like that that's a great idea we have to give it enough time after this one <laughs> to make sure gonna... we don't repower the curse yes yeah we have to do a cereal mascot themed episode like once I, every six months i'm sorry i need i need to point out that nathan drew a chalice and then erase the, the, the stem, stem. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't figure out where it would go. This you're you're so bowl. real for that, but this is yeah. the funniest way possible to hold a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> and I love it. I love it. That's a, a, a tone indicator, genuine, affectionate. I love it. It does feel like how to draw a perfect circle, draw a, a, a photorealistic owl, erase the owl. There's the circle. There's the circle. You drew um, a whole cool cup. Yeah. It, it, you know... This is this is the design process. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think this is, you know, Count Chocula, this is for you. You can you can take this one if you want. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. I like it. I yeah. made this joke earlier, but hot chocula. Hot chocula. Hot chocula. <laughs> they need to stop making the the monsters from the monster cereals like all goofy looking and instead just Jojo fy them. Yeah. yeah. Yes. People will love that. It's what the millennials really want. Yeah. yeah. And we're children. Yes. And we want to buy the cereal, but mm -hmm. we're not because the monsters aren't hot enough. Yeah. If you make them look like Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Goku them, please. Uh, and on that note, Jacob. <laughs> Goku, buy me, yes, Captain. Yes, um, I will go next. Nathan, you will this go is great. Ku. Thank you, Karina. <laughs> okay. Okay. We got hot chocula. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to revisit that little dude everybody hates. <laughs> 
Lucky yeah. the Leprechaun. Oh, I was like, you'll have to narrow it down. <laughs> yeah. The Tricks Rabbit? Oh, Lucky. Yeah, Lucky the Leprechaun, who because he doesn't want the kids to have the charms. He's right. always trying to, he'll like, you'll never get them. They're always after. They're yeah. always after him. Oh, I guess it's not you'll never get them. They're <laughs> always <laughs> after. <laughs> You'll never get the lucky charms. And he just walks away. <laughs> Maybe that's going to be the new one. <laughs> Fades yeah. away into the shadows. <laughs> um, so uh, my design philosophy for this one is we've lost sight of... <laughs> we as a people have lost yeah. sight of what leprechauns are supposed to be. Yeah. And we got to go back to the old ways. <laughs> got to go back to the old me. And so I've, I've, I've pulled up a little article here about the characteristics of a, a traditional leprechaun like they were back when they were, you know, invented. <laughs> Discovered, you mean. Discovered, I mean, <laughs> in, in Celtic mythology and, yeah. and, you know, stuff like that. And so here's some of the, the, the factors I'm going to include here. Mm -hmm. They're diminutive figures with incredible agility. Right. Lucky has those yes. th features. Um, but here's what Lucky doesn't have. <laughs> they are usually old, wrinkled, and ugly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Hell yeah. They're often stern, gloomy, and sour-tempered. Oh, yeah. And um, <laughs> as a... The, get the fuck away from me, Lucky Charms. <laughs> you will never have You'll them. You'll never have them. <laughs> um, as the historian of Celtic mythology, Jay McKillop notes... Ugly and stunted with a face like a dried apple, the leprechaun may be querulous, <laughs> sottish, and foul-mouthed. Oh, hell yeah. yeah he right says yeah. fuck for sure. So yeah. they're just like horrible little assholes. Yeah. Um, that everybody hates. And they do have treasure. So I want to go that direction. I want to make like a horrible little guy who hates you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You're just eating. You're eating your bowl of cereal, and you look up, and he's in the window, <laughs> looking at you. Eat his lucky charms. You thought you got them. Um, when Jacob said <laughs> the the most hated cereal mascot, I think um the actual most hated cereal mascot. I don't know if you guys remember the honeycomb. I mascot. knew you were gonna say the honeycomb's mascot. Crazy he craving. Is hated. He had a name. Yeah, that was his name. Crazy Craven. I just thought he was like the strange tornado rat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm looking at a picture of him right now. He has a giant face. <laughs> yeah, he's a strange rat. Again, it was part of the the sort of late 90s, early 2000s body horror yeah. ethos of uh, children's food products that included- really did love to just make- Scary shit. Yeah. yeah. Like Popsicle did it. Gushers. Capri Sun. It was just this idea that these foodstuffs would, would alter your physiology. Yeah. And it, it I don't know who the target market was, but, but child Nathan found the prospect horrifying <laughs> and <laughs> did not want to um, participate in any food stuff that was advertised as as causing <laughs> yeah. body horror. Like, I'm not going to eat that shit if it's actually going to turn my head into a giant cherry. Yeah, no thank you. I do want to say, I'm, I'm, reading, <laughs> I'm reading the wiki on this guy. Craven? On Craven? Yeah. <laughs> Wes Craven? Wes Craven? Oh, Cra like craving. Yeah, craving. He is crazy craving. Yeah. Um, it does read like an SCP article. Well, yeah, because it it well, takes go on. it takes over you. Yeah, it says at first, Crazy Craving started off as his own character and would often appear when kids started hungering for honeycomb. <laughs> <laughs> Parentheses, he'd emerge zipping around from one of the children's stomachs. Ah, ew! But over time, any kid in the commercials that started getting hungry for honeycomb would then turn into crazy craving. He's an illness. Yeah, yeah. that's that's horrible. He's yeah. like um he's like the thing. It, it does say the craver. <laughs> the craver is normally depicted <laughs> the, the wretched craver. The wretched craver. <laughs> the craver is normally depicted with a deep manic but clearly masculine voice. But there are times when the craver has a higher squeaky pitch when originating from a girl. Though <laughs> at least two occasions, this has not been the case. The craver is not free from the gender binary. <laughs> yeah, really. The sentence does say, though at least 
two occasions this has not been the case as shown in the museum. What do you mean the museum? What's the museum article? Probably an advertisement that's set in a museum. It's it's like situations where it would be inappropriate to um become the craver. <laughs> 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 it was sort of like the they, they were like a series of vignettes. So like this is a, me, a me library at the function. <laughs> Guys, would it be an inappropriate time to become the craver? Yeah, it was like because uh, um I might I'm about to enter craven mode. I'm feeling some craving <laughs> stirring up. Yeah. Should I recuse myself from <laughs> this this charity gala? <laughs> sentences I want to read real quick because they're cracking me up. Despite being described as crazy, he is shown to be really good at using technology <laughs> as he uses an egg beater in an attempt to make strawberry honeycomb flavor. Oh, oh, he uses an egg beater. Oh, sentence wow. number two. That's some technology. Not only can he originate from any kids, he can also originate from any adults. Well, <laughs> As he is shown to originate from a British royal guard. Yep, I remember that plus one. Plus professional oh. basketball player Penny Hardaway. <laughs> <laughs> Any adult. <laughs> Adulthood is a spectrum. <laughs> yeah, where are you on the British royal guard <laughs> Penny Hardaway? <laughs> Spectrum. Yeah, where are you on this binary? <laughs> Jacob, I love this shape. I love the shape of this strange fellow. Yeah. You're in love with the shape of him? I'm in love with the shape of him. <laughs> He's really good. <laughs> I have like a like an idea. He looks hard okay. to push over. <laughs> which is that like kids today. Yeah. Kids I, these days. I know a lot about what they like. Ooh, and kids I'm not these days. With that knowledge at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. They really like things that are like kind of scary. Like they want to be scared. Yeah. Yeah. Like like the Five Nights. Yeah. At the Freddy's. kids these days crave spring trap. <laughs> they crave spring trap and Bonnie, Golden e Freddy and oh. <laughs> and Cyber Bonnie and like Ultimate Chica and like all those. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I'm thinking like that's kind of the advertising angle here. Is there's mm -hmm. gonna be like. <laughs> In the commercials, he's like really far away and he looks like this. Yeah. But then he like jump scares you at some point in the commercial and like comes like right at the screen. Yeah. And like says curse words. Um I wanna I wanna say real fast, I've I've Googled the Lucky Charms Leprechaun. Yeah. yeah. Lucky. He's been knighted. What Sir, do you mean knighted? Sir he's, Lucky? He's Sir, Sir Lucky? Charms. Is Sir his name. Charms. <laughs> Although also much like a lot of Irish uh, history and culture, there has been some British erasure, mm -hmm. and he was replaced with Waldo the Wizard. Who the hell is Waldo the Wizard? <laughs> like, what do you mean replaced currently? with Waldo the Wizard? When, when was he? Wait a second. <laughs> Waldo the Wizard only existed in New England. Who is Wa Waldo the Wizard? This math teacher looking guy? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that man before in my life. Waldo the Wizard. They're just trying anything over there. Yeah. I I think that over there up there. England. Yeah. Because apparently it's New England, not just England. There's a wow. New so England. Confused. Okay, so that's him at a distance, and then now we're getting the jump scare. Yeah. <laughs> this is his mouth. Oh. Oh. Because he jumps at you like a Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mouth, <laughs> mouth first. And he's like, rah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get him. He's just screaming in your face and it, there's like marshmallows in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and they're wet. Ew. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I think this is a good uh, idea, Jacob. Well, kids are going to like it. Because yeah. they're going to make like a bunch of. Um... He's very memeable. They're gonna make a bunch of like scary, creepy pastas. Yeah, mm -hmm. and there's people are gonna get like obsessed with the characters. Yeah. yeah, and we're gonna start seeing like plushes of this guy just being sold like dirt cheap bootleg yeah. in Chinatown. 
Yeah. Everywhere. And, and then just like all the rest of them. Oh, what if okay, what if th- what if this cereal now comes with like a little USB that has a game on it? <laughs> oh. A, a USB <laughs> do people <laughs> a USB C that has a game on yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, his tongue. It comes is... with a QR code it comes you can with... scan. Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah. comes with a QR code <laughs> on the inside and then you d- and then you download it and then the game is you're in the woods. <laughs> it, it and then your you, computer. <laughs> and then you just hear whispered uh, curse words behind you. And if it gets louder, that's how you know he's getting closer and you have to find you'll, all his lucky charms. You'll never fucking get him. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. You piece of shit. <laughs> you coward. Yeah, what are the charms you get, again? You get one of the, the charms and you hear, motherfucker. motherfucker. <laughs> I was saving that. Shit. <laughs> shit, you found that shit, one. I got it. I horse you. Bitch. <laughs> You're not getting another one though. <laughs> That's the oh, last my dead one. body. You fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I should have put this guy on a different layer. His mouth. Just, just, just shut up. Shut this is up. Scary. <laughs> and then if you turn around too late, uh this mouth just comes and eats you. <laughs> <laughs> but it gives you a good lick first. Yeah. yeah. And then it turns you into a marshmallow and then he eats you. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. Yeah, the lick turns you into a marshmallow. And then yeah, he, just and then like the old commercial. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm sold. That's yeah. scary. I don't like that. Yeah, you've really sort of bridged the gap between 90s body horror <laughs> yeah. and uh, and today's children's love of of the grotesque and. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, good job, Jacob. <laughs> today's children want. This is what today's children want. They yearn. They yearn for the grotesque. They yearn. To, to have this on a t-shirt <laughs> it was just the text me lucky charms me lucky charms but in like gothic font how tall is this guy jacob three he's very he's small three. i should say too i learned that like the word leprechaun like originates from like oh, it's got all sorts of forms throughout history okay but all of them mean like essentially like little dude <laughs> oh. it translates to just like a small guy yeah this is such a good jump yeah the foreshortening <laughs> it's it's like <laughs> it's really funny <laughs> it's kind of giving highway man kind of just a little bit mm-hmm. he's the highway man yeah it's just a little little bit of his leggies you yeah. can see back there <laughs> Full sploot. <laughs> gotta make the foot even smaller. Yeah, this really is. These don't. These aren't his boobies. So no. <laughs> very, yeah, very. they're okay. not his tits. His. <laughs> he is not very cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's my feet. Get your head out of the gutter, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're disgusting. That's why you'll never get my charms. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't deserve them. <laughs> sort of what's going on thanks there. jacob yeah, just fix just fix it up a little bit make it like look, you know, i think it would have read just fine in the render just i'm just making sure we're just making sure here yeah maybe you don't even see that foot no you see it just like a little yeah, yeah. It's like here it's like there that's oh, oh he's yeah good that's, that was, yeah that's oh great my gosh he's really coming at you wow you got a running start. Yeah, <laughs> well, they move incredibly fast. That's yeah. like the one thing we know about. Them. But he also got a running start. Yeah, that's yeah. his legs like whipping in the wind, but, like, like he flapping runs so fast. You yeah, can, you don't even like see him. Like he's like oh, he's like way far away, and then he's like he's, right he's here. He's doing that like floaty jump where he's still like kicking his legs, <laughs> like he's running while he's jumping. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, I think this is what kids want. I agree. If you're yeah. a kid and you're watching this, I'm sorry about a lot of the things we've said up to this point, but please let me know if this is what you want. Yeah. Would yeah. you buy a um, <laughs> bootleg plush of this? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm done. I want Karina to draw now. Ah. Okay. You ready? I I, I have a duty. Yeah. <laughs> on this team. <laughs> you need to go to the bathroom? <laughs> on the show? You can't do it on the show. You have to go to the bathroom if you have to do it. 
Yeah, we can pause. On camera? No, you definitely can't do it on, on the camera. Microphone. No, no, we use those. Directly on the soft part that covers the actual No, thing. it's never going to get out of there. And that duty is to draw Tony the Tiger. Yes! Yeah. Anthony Tiger? I'm standing Anthony and saluting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saluting and I'm hooting. And, and I, hollering. I think my angle here and... Pray forgive me if this is an incredibly outdated meme. I'm not up to date on serial mascot lore, believe it or not. But I I personally remember the days when Tony the Tiger was getting <laughs> scared off of Twitter by <laughs> uh, furries thirsting after him. Sure. And mm -hmm. I think it's time, if he hasn't already... To lean in, yeah. lean in. Yeah. Give the people what they want, Tony. Yeah, and also, and also, everyone told me to do this, so just don't don't yell at me. No one's gonna yell at you. They're gonna yell. They're gonna yell. They're just gonna yell. They're just gonna yell, but not at you. They're gonna yell like in a positive way. Yeah, they can't help themselves. Like, wow. Do you know that Tony the Tiger has children? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah I think we talked about that on a stream. Yeah, one time. he has like. Oh yeah, he he was pictured back in the day with a family. His wife like disappeared. Though. Yeah, he got a divorce. That's right. Yeah. He got a divorce, and then all these like furries started like thirsting over him, and he's just like, well, because he became a VTuber. <laughs> yeah, what what <laughs> happened with that? that? Yeah, I am googling it. Yeah, yeah, I have to imagine he stopped for the same reason. Yeah, <laughs> he last went live two years ago, according to Twitch. <laughs> when the world needed him most. And what did he do? <laughs> Sorry. One of the top people people also ask is, what ethnicity is Tony the Tiger? <laughs> well, he's a fucking he's tiger. A tiger. He's a tiger. <laughs> have an ethnicity. He's got to go back. He's got to become a full VTuber with jiggle physics. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, this is like Tony got a divorce. Right. Yeah. Came out as gay. <laughs> bisexual bisexual yeah and now he's in his like i'm living my truth phase where he's like i'm out there you know i'm meeting people i'm going to events and i'm Ooh. i'm showing what i got the freaking crossover you could have had with zzz oh sure yeah it's not too late it's not too late <laughs> tony you can come back you can hold hands with lyceon or whatever his name is I don't know what, oh, the wolf. what is my pose. You got a down angle right now. Yeah, down angle easier. Yeah. What do I want? <laughs> Julia, what are you snickering about? There's a Tony the Tiger website and I clicked on it because the preview for it says, hey there, tiger. <laughs> there? Hey there. Hey there. And turns there. around to look behind <laughs> me. <laughs> there is in all caps for no reason. And I went to go click on it. <laughs> it's a really funny image of tony the tiger i can't tell what expression he's trying to portray but then it says select your age <laughs> what does this mean tony i need to i need to fit here's the thing here's like my take on tony is yeah, that yeah. like he he is in like he's an aged serial mascot he's yeah. been around the block he's seen some shit yeah and he's living his truth now yeah. as a as a <laughs> bisexual divorcee, yeah. <laughs> father of two. Um, but he's he's doing that thing where he's like really leaning into it begrudgingly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he he's not like fully like he wants to be doing. Like this. he doesn't get it. He's right. like fifty five. Yeah, he's, he's not... just like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, is this what the people want? <laughs> why why does chat keep calling me daddy? <laughs> is, I am a father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is zaddy just the new way of saying daddy? <laughs> <laughs> why do you want me to meow? Why do you want me to jump? <laughs> why do you want me to call you kitten? <laughs> <laughs> What's a Discord kitten? <laughs> that sounds scary to me. Okay, okay, I need to figure this out. You're off to a great start. Yeah. Yeah. yeah good good <laughs> shapes. Yeah. Dare I say, great shapes. Whoa. <laughs> what? I found... Yeah? I found on a website that you can buy 2024... That's... Oh, okay. <laughs> the whole year? 
2024 Tony the Tiger Silver Spoons. And for some reason, it's, a, it's listed as 2024 Chad One Ounce Kellogg Tony the Tiger Spoon Silver Coin. What? And I was like, Julia, what, are, I don't know what you're talking about, you're, Julia. You're saying a lot of words, and I don't think they're fully connecting. <laughs> That's what it was listed as. Where? <laughs> Where? Where? What do you mean? What does this mean? It's on a coin trading website. Okay. But it's like not a real... coin, it's a spoon. <laughs> Sorry, I have Google image searches open, and I just realized that the first suggested search is buff. <laughs> well, I mean, bi- fitness has been a big part of yeah. his, his brand. But he's getting older. Yeah. Yeah, Tony's into fitness. Fitness flakes in your mouth. Oh. I I shouldn't say what I was going to say. Use your imagination, Chad. Yeah, let's just say it had to do with... um... No, I can't say it. (laughs) This is where, like, you get to participate in the bit. You get to imagine the joke. Yeah. Let's it's... let's actually let's leave you a space right now where yeah. you can say the joke. We'll give yeah. you ten seconds. Okay. Here you go. Fitness. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah. wow! Oh my gosh! So close! Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you went there. That's disgusting. This is a program. This, this is, is a program. This is a program. <laughs> Chew on that. some soap. Chew on some soap. <laughs> <laughs> Julia's always saying this. <laughs> you know when you were a kid and you said a curse word and your parents made you chew on some soap? <laughs> yeah, not just hold it in your mouth. Just you go to town to on it. it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a corn on the cob. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I'm uh-huh. loving this expression. God, I don't know. <laughs> I'm less like... Read well. I mean, I guess in a way, I'm redesigning him. He's very, he's definitely redesigned from that weird page you showed, <laughs> where he's just looking at the camera like he just got some bad news from his doctor. <laughs> he's just holding it together, trying to keep a brave front for his many fans. Yeah, but I stayed so healthy. I love fitness. I love fitness. Fitness. Fitness diagnosis. <laughs> In my brain. In my brain. <laughs> the most challenging fitness yeah. of all. <laughs> no, Tony's healthy. Yeah, Tony's fine. He's, Everyone... a, ca- he's a cartoon character. Yeah. So I, he'll he's be... just getting older. Yeah. His, his age is catching up to him. Aren't he's put on a little weight. Mm. In all the right places. Mm. <laughs> Do you think they're like, you have to take care of your heart better? And he's like, I got to call <laughs> the Cheerios guy. The Cheerios I know a bee. guy. <laughs> What's the bee's name? Cheerio. Beard. Bee. It's Beard. 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 The Cheerios bee. Beard Simpson. <laughs> uh, his name is Busby. Busby. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Unmoved by this information. Yeah. Next. Does the bee, he only represents Honey Nut Cheerios, right? Right. Because regular Cheerios don't have anything for him. No. And yeah. they also don't have a mascot. He's there for the honey. I don't know if we ever told Nathan, but when we were in LA <laughs> and Nathan requested Cheerios and not Honey Nut, Jacob and I stood in the grocery store going, do we think he meant Honey Nut? I was like, he must have meant Honey Nut, right? He but must he didn't have, say he Honey must Nut. Have. Does he just want normal? I like normal. Honestly, that's a great quality to have. I'm glad you like it. I was just so worried that we were going to get normal and you were going to be like, yeah. oh, why would I get normal? When yeah. Why would I eat the exists? sawdust? It's, Obviously, it's not, when someone says Cheerios, the honey nut is implied. It's not yeah. that like we don't think you should like them. It's just that if you don't like normal Cheerios, but you end up with normal Cheerios, it's like it's gonna like ruin your. There's week. not much yeah. you can do with them. Yeah, no, they're not um, useful in many ways. But if you do like them, you you can just eat them, and and they're. They're good. And that's awesome. They just sort of taste like um like oats, like toasted oats. You ever do that thing where you like you like toss them up with like the the Worcestershire sauce and some salt 
and some other oh what? do like a Chex mix but with Cheerios yeah it's like a Cheerios Chex mix and you I've, roast them in the oven I've not but that sounds delightful it's, it's freaking delicious that's a great use for Nova okay Cheerios. you should try that I'll put that put that on my to do list to I did just list. discover <laughs> I just discovered that the Cheerios B was named by a fifth grade student oh oh that explains that <laughs> want to feel old that fifth grade student is. Now, hold on. How old are you in fifth grade? 10. If you're 10 in fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. They're get our the age. They're actually 35. Wow. wow. Can we get them on the show? Guys, I have news. <laughs> was he no you? Way. That fifth grade student. No way. Was me. Oh, my oh! God. Why didn't you try harder? <laughs> <laughs> Had a lot going on a lot of extracurriculars oh my god i just saw what's on karina's phone what i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited about it i'm not gonna spoil it i'm not it. looking i haven't seen i've seen it now as well. i've not been ruined um yeah I, I was between you know clarinet practice and and rec league soccer mm-hmm. i didn't have a ton of time to devote to the uh <laughs> didn't have a ton of time <laughs> ton of i didn't have a ton of time i i, I honestly i didn't think I was gonna win the contest. Uh huh. I was like, it was really sort of an afterthought. I was like, he's a bee. What do bees do? They buzz. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> Buzz B. Toy Story had just come out. Yeah, Buzz like Buzz. buzz. Yeah, people love. People were. Uh, it was either Buzz B or Woody B, and B uh, Woody B made less sense. Well, I don't know. So. I didn't plan the pose out. I have a genuine question. Okay. I need I need assistance with this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but before I get into it, yeah, clearance, clearance to ask the question. How can we know? If... Are we all good? Yes. What I is... mean, like, does anyone have any topics they want to bring up first? <laughs> is this going like, to change everything? Like, <laughs> is this, is this, are we ready to move on <laughs> to this this I part just, of like... the episode? Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. audience, Karina, viewers, are, are you? Am I clear? Please do. Like, okay. I, I, I didn't know if you needed backup. No, I think I got if this. You, okay. I, I, I think I you're just, doing great. Yeah, but thank you. Thank you. That's I, so. I'll get there. I'll get there. That's so considerate, Julia. Yeah. Hit, hit us. This, I just. This is like in a video game where they're like. Yeah, you can like, no longer <laughs> save. Yeah. You yeah. can no longer go back Are you once ready you've gone past this point. To yeah. advance the plot. Yeah. If there's anything you want to wrap up. <laughs> I just. I'm going through the taglines of the Busby Cheerio match. Scott, sure right <laughs> okay the most recent one is have a change of heart which sounds like you are thinking about shooting him <laughs> does it come on have a change of heart man <laughs> i have a family i have a family <laughs> you don't have to do this no, neither one of us wants this <laughs> um the next one is good goes round yada 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 there's also one that says nobody can say no to honey nut cheerios nathan Nathan, what you said no to Honey Nut Cheerios? Yeah, you broke the law. You broke the law. Well, I, I don't think I said no to them. I just said yes to regular Cheerios. Would you say no to Honey Nut Cheerios if someone offered them to me? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't. I don't want to in- incur the wrath of the of the bee. It, that definitely sounds like a threat. Nobody can say no. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Has anyone tried? What happened to them? But here's the one that I don't understand. Yeah. And I've been sitting here trying to figure out what it means. And sure. I could just be stupid. The tagline, mm-hmm. their yeah. first tagline ever from 1979, that lasted until 2004. Wow. Is the tagline that says, it's a honey of an O. Oh, I remember that. It's a honey of an orgasm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what does this mean? <laughs> it's a honey of an O. Of an O. Let's let's take a okay. Let's, <laughs> like let's take a moment. Lion, lion o? It's a honey of an O. Yeah, because I remember hearing that and not understanding, not, not question, not understanding, but also not questioning. It was just like this must mean something to the adults because it is an O, right? Is like an we o. can all agree that we're changing this. We're changing this really. Quickly. We're making a. Uh, Making some drawing alterations. Yeah, I want to change the entire style of this outfit to keep going. <laughs> I I just wanted to say about this this drawing, his expression to me really looks like his boyfriend just got home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's my concept. Just so we're just so we're all on the same page. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. 
This is, they're relaunching the Tony the Tiger VTuber, but they're leaning fully into VTuber. You can redeem different outfits and like. <laughs> okay. No, so, no. This is, his, someone redeemed the maid outfit. Yes. And it's the first time this has happened to him. And he's yeah. like, is this really? <laughs> yeah, that's why he's standing with his arms down. Because he, he's, he's a VTuber. Hard to do jumping jacks in this, but. Yeah. He just kind of okay. stands there and like goes up and down. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and not because I didn't feel like drawing hands. No, of course not. Mm. Never. No, that's just true to the VTuber. Yeah, experience. that's literally what they do. Yeah, VTubers' <laughs> hands. They just kind of stand there and go up and down. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a little popsicle stick. <laughs> yeah. Characters. We're doing. We're doing the most basic ass. Yeah. Okay, keep talking about. Yeah, bees there. There or are more uh, elaborate. Uh, yeah, but they cost way you can more. Redeem, but yeah, they, we haven't gotten there. Yeah. Yet. Yeah. Well, once the furries get yeah. wind of this yeah the, the more elaborate outfits are being bought because furries are rich yeah yeah i'll do like rocket engineering they all do rocket stuff every <laughs> one of them <laughs> that's why they like their furries so big now when were we talking about before that distraction it's a honey of an o it's a, it's a, it's honey, a honey of, of an, an o. o it's a honey of an o yeah mm -hmm. okay like yeah it so um better. It it really just sort of sounds like they just threw some words together. Yeah. Yeah. I've been Googling and I can't, I, I just keep finding commercials with it, but there's no explanations as to what it means. It's a honey. If you know what it is, put it in the, it, put it in the comments, please. It's a honey. Is that, is that like an, ex, is it, it, can something be a honey of? No. I think they just put it together because it's like, you know, it's a heck of a time. Yeah, a that, it, it, it hits those same beats. But and yeah, like people will get it. People it's just get a honey it. of an O. It's like the it's just like a more whimsical way of saying it's the O's have sort of a honey flavor in case you didn't get that from the name. <laughs> honey Nut Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios. They don't really talk about the nut aspect. I was going to say that, Nathan. I was thinking about that too. Where's the nut? They really, it's like they went all in on the honey but like nut is in the name. Yeah. Like they're not just honey Cheerios. They're honey nut Cheerios. But like there's no, you know, equivalent sort of squirrel mascot oh, for the nuts. I have an answer, please. For which? The nut. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have an answer for the nut. I have an answer for the nut. Yeah. Reveal the nut. <laughs> it was originally made with nuts. Well, yeah. But it's just in in the marketing, they just decided people didn't give a shit about that aspect. They were like, nuts in the name. Nut is self-explanatory. You get it. You know what nut's about. But honey, people, and, people really need yeah. to get on board with this honey. They hate that. Yeah. In many ways, honey is sort of the nut of the beehive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In many Speak ways. On that. In many ways. And so I think maybe that's what they meant. <laughs> Speak on that, please. <laughs> Karina, this is so I, cute. It's really cute. Okay, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to hear me out because I can't fucking stand to do this right now. We're gonna have chat over here. Yeah. Yeah. And then a redeem. Yes. Over here that put the maid outfit uh, on. Thanks to Lycaon li yeah. li 420 yeah. for the gifted subscriptions. Th yeah. Thank you. You thanks. are a great <laughs> subscriber. <laughs> thank you for redeeming the maid outfit um, skyscraper sitter. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Congrats on your promotion. <laughs> <laughs> we have some gifted subs from Dragon Dick Bus Humper. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Well, I just did. Haha. <laughs> 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 anyway, we have a sponsored stream today. <laughs> sponsored by Frosted Flakes. Like all of like our streams. They all are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're going to have to wait till the render to see the full chat overlay, which I will do because it'll be funny. Yeah, I mean, this is really... That. 
He looks so tired. Oh, this one's just called Jumbo Jumbo Jet. Thanks for the bit. You have to remember that this isn't really Tony. This is his VTuber model. Yeah. That just goes up and down and like only has certain expressions. But it is but it is the real Tony. He looks exactly the same. He's just naked. (laughs) He's just sitting in a dark room at his computer. <laughs> Tom's really are changing for this dad. <laughs> we do what we must for our family, though. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for always supporting me. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I told you guys to stop thirst tweeting me a few years ago, I was going through some stuff, you know? <laughs> but. You know, now I just like to have fun with you guys. It's hard to be perceived so much on the internet all at once. Yeah. But, but you know. But doing this, it's great. It's great. It's great. <laughs> wow. Well, we did it. We fixed cereal. In a way. <laughs> it is no longer bad. It's no longer bad. In Cereal's way, so back. <laughs> this episode was still cursed. <laughs> Yeah, but cursed in a in the way we want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah in yeah, the yeah. in like the br- appropriate for our brand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cursed. Yeah, and let's wait to make sure people actually see this before yeah. we celebrate too much. You're right. <laughs> yeah. If you're seeing this, then we are free. Yeah. Our brand, more like our bran, because it's cereal. Wow. If, if you are seeing this episode, <laughs> you better you better. Pop the biggest bottles down below. <laughs> Do your little chalice bowl. <laughs> Get your tiny clink, clink, bitch. <laughs> of cereal. And and while you're at it with your other hand that's not holding the bowl of cereal, click that like button and please subscribe because we are creeping towards two million. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Such a creepy creep. Creepy we're, creepers. We're cra- we're craving that t- two million. <laughs> <laughs> we're creeping and craving. Ooh. But even more important than the two million is if you want to really support us, you can you can do so on Patreon. It's the best way to support us. The best way. The best. The best. The best. Uh, we also stream live on Twitch Mondays at seven p.m. and we have a merch store full of incredible merchandise. That yes. you can buy and put on yourself mm-hmm. or others. Mm-hmm. Much like the redeems are put on Tony. Exactly. <laughs> We're sorry. We're sorry. 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 <laughs>